welcome back. This is part three of my split cup pours with my black and gold. So I'm going to do a travelling or wandering ring pour down the surface here. Uh, same as my other two black and gold split cups, I used Floetrol as my pouring medium and I've mixed that one part Floetrol to one part of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in gold and the black I mixed one and a half parts flow troll to one part black it's a bit thicker so um, yeah I just had to add more flow troll to it so um, if you watch my other pours you'll know that I've done different ways of pouring my paint into my little jug here. I'll just move that out of the way for a minute so I can pop that there. I've just elevated this on a little container. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I'll just get something a bit higher just in case. This one's a little bit higher so if I need the extra height I'll just pop that under. So uh, with my others I split the cup here where the spout was. I did black on one side, gold on the other, poured them in. This time I'm going to do it that way and I'm going to put black there at the front and gold at the back. So when I tip the gold will fall over the top of the black. So just to give me a bit of a different look. So that's the idea anyway. Let's get these sticks out of the way so I don't drop those in. Make a mess. Okay, so let's do it. Try and pour them evenly if possible. Just going to put them all in, both of them in. They're a pretty similar consistency. They leave a little mound on top, as you can see. We've got a nice split definition there. And you'll only get that if your mix is relatively thick. If it's too thin, they'll just mix straight away and you won't get that as defined line there. So, yeah, they're, they're relatively thick. they probably as thick as I would do for my flip cup, maybe even a little bit thicker as my flip cup pours. Yeah, it is thicker actually now that I think about it. Um, and I've also got a little bit of the black left for my corners, which is mixed two parts Floetrol to one part black. So it's a lot thinner just to use for my corners if I need them, which I will do. Now let's pop that back and put it overhanging so I don't get too much paint on my little plastic there. Rightio, off we go. And I'm going to start at the top. I'm just going to do circles, rings and keep it in the one spot and let the paint flow down. That's the plan. It's going to take a while for the gold to come out. There it comes. Try not to let the bottom of the jug pick my paint like I did last time. How's it looking? I can't see the bottom, I'm concentrating on the top. Yell out! How's it looking? I have a feeling it's going off the side though. I think I wasn't too far in the, the middle. I was kind of working my way up towards you guys for some reason. It's not staying in the middle. I'm 
trying to watch that and trying to watch the top at the same time. I think it's going okay, you guys. I think it is. Just run that off the top. Wow! Look at that! Oh my goodness! Wow, wow, wow! I'm excited. Alright, now before it gets too far down, let's just run it off the back just a touch to get up to here. Alright, that's it. Move my little container. Oh, I've just put my container in the paint. There we go. I'll wipe it off later. Didn't need that one. My goodness. How pretty is that? Now what am I going to do with it? I do know that I'm going to put black there. I wonder if I can move it to the sides at all. A little bit. Just a little bit to get the sides covered. Kind of needs to be moved a little bit, doesn't it? Can't leave it like that. Okay. All right. Loving it, and I will leave it like that for the moment and just touch up these other areas with my black. A little bit there. I always wonder how you can get these top bits without ruining the rest of it. You know, it's always it's a bit of a mystery. I'll have to keep practicing and see if I can work it out. Maybe it's a matter of tipping back this way first, getting those corners. But you're kind of reluctant to because you see all this beautifulness in the middle here and you think, oh, if I tilt it that way, it's going to get ruined. So you don't do it. And then you kind of regret not doing it when you've got these blank corners at the top. I kind of rushed it a bit, didn't I? I sort of just went for it. I should have probably just slowed down and had a look at it, had a think about what I wanted to do. Let's push that into the corner there. All right, so that is covered. What do you think? Pretty, pretty. I've got more on this side than I've got on that side. But, as I said, I can't really, I can't really move it now. Probably needed to do, like I said, up here first. So I really can't move it now that it's done. Or can I? So if I take this down, I wonder if I can move it down just a touch. Bring the weight of the paint back here here, about here, and then see if I can move it down. It shouldn't interfere with this section too much. I think it's working. I've just centered it a little bit. Does that look better? Probably won't be able to get too far over here. I just wanted to centre this. Go really slowly, see if it wants to move. How's that? I think that's enough, isn't it? Just enough. Just move this back a touch. 
Let's see what it looks like from that angle. I'm just going to take this a little bit off just here. Just a touch and go back. Right, I'm happy with that. Just needed to move that off a tiny little bit just to balance it. And I think that's better. finger in there in the top of it. Just touch this up. So there you go, kind of like a wing paw, isn't it? Angel wings. I think it looks like angel wings. I'm really happy with it. And I guess the idea of the split cup, like angel wings isn't a new thing um, by any means, but it's the split cup that I wanted to do um, to show you how the gold doesn't get muddy or as muddy. I'm just going to cover this mess so it's not too distracting for my close up. need a little bit of gold just to finish that off there. The shoulders. I just felt that it needed that. balanced it. So, yeah, what do you think? I love it. Right, let's take you in for a close-up. Get these gloves off. Love it. There we go. I will show you the, the um, dried um, results in a later video. I guess the only thing different from having the one paint flow over the top of the other is I have wisps on the left and not so many on the right. So that's a little bit different. But um, hey, it's okay. <laughs> I still love it. They're all different, aren't they? So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something from that. And uh, give my split cups a, a go. You can split the cups in different ways. Right, left, front, back, whatever you want to do. So have a go. And um, put them up on the Australian Acrylic Pouring page on Facebook. I'd love to see them there. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that. And you can catch up on all my videos. You won't miss anything. And I will see you for the next one. I think I'm done and dusted with the gold and black. So I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.